right, the following equipment will be utilized for the MET 241 torsion test laboratory. A steel torsion specimen, digital calipers, torsiometer, and torsion test fixture. The specimen will be measured at five different places along the gauge length to determine an average diameter which will be used for all calculations. To load the specimen into the torsion tester, insert one end into the rear chuck, ensure that it is securely against the, the gripping face and then tighten down using the chuck key. This two inch uh, adapter to make, the, to make a two inch gauge length with your torsiometer should go over the specimen before inserting it into the far end of the chuck. And then this can, the fixture can slide in to the front end of the fixture and that can be tightened down using the chuck key. The torsiometer then goes over the gauge of the specimen and is tightened down being sure not to tighten it on the radius of the specimen. This uh, cylindrical piece goes on there and then the torsiometer slides into the cylinder. This gives us our two inch gauge length. The, using a hex key, these pieces can be tightened up can be tightened on the rear end and then light pressure on this pad should be applied to the torsiometer until it just starts to move then the pad can be tightened securely like so the torsiometer can be tightened down just to the point where it starts to move and then it can be zeroed out. Once the specimen is loaded in the fixture, we must make sure that the bubble in the bubble level is centered prior to starting the test. This bubble must be centered uh, for the duration of the test and this uh, level is adjusted by combi combined use of two cranks, one at the top of the spring scale and one on the rear left side of the fixture. Once this is done, we will start loading in 10 inch pound increments. At 10 pounds, four on the torsiometer. All right. At 20 pounds, six on the torsiometer.
We'll continue taking readings up to about 200 inch pounds of uh, torque and then we will re remove the torsiometer to avoid damage to the device. Alright, with the torsiometer removed from the sample, we will continue to load it until failure at all times, keeping the, the bubble in the center of the level. Once the specimen has been broken, it can be removed from the test fixture. Loosening up the key, sliding back the specimen the fixture. And that is the conclusion of the lab.